Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about class binding. Class binding is used to set a class property of a view element. We can add and remove the CSS class name from an element's class attribute with class binding. Alright, so let's see how we can use class binding in Angular 10. So switch to the project and inside the project just open uh, app.component.css file ok and here just create some classes so just write here uh, let's say success class so just write here success and set the color let's say color is green ok now add another class Let's say class is error and color red. Okay. And one more class. Let's say class is a special. All right. Let's say font weight is equal to 700. Text decoration underline. Alright, now save this file and now let's bind these classes. So, uh, before binding these classes, let's create some properties. Okay, so go to the app.complaint.ts file and here just add some properties. Let's say success, this is the properties name and then their value is success. Okay. Now create another one, header and their value is error and a spacer is equal to a spacer. All right. Now save this file and uh, just go to the component.html file and here uh, just add a paragraph. So just write here a p tag and inside this p tag just uh, type a message. Let's say message is uh, success message here. Okay. And another paragraph. error message here and one more paragraph a spacer message here all right now just add just bind this uh, property uh, and uh, just right here bind the class so just write here class and class is equal to this property's name okay which is success so just write here success okay uh, for error i'm just going to write here class and error okay and for the special class is equal to this property special class ok now save the file all set so let's check it so switch to the browser and just go to the localhost port 200 port and you can see here the success message in green color, error message in red color and the special message bold and underlined. Okay. Now let's see the conditional class binding. Okay. So for that, let's create one new property. So go to the app.component.ts file and here let's create a new property has error. Okay. 
and default value let's say default value is false now go to the app.component.html file and here just add one more paragraph for conditional message conditional class binding so just write here conditional uh, conditional class binding okay conditional uh, for conditional class binding just write here class and uh, i'm just going to use error class so just write here error equal to as error uh, this this property okay if this property uh, if this property's value is uh, true, then error class will be applied on this p tag. Okay, otherwise it will not applied. All right, so let's save it and let's check. So default value as error is false. Let's see in the browser. You can see here the text color in normal color. Okay, black color. And if I change the has error value, let's say true. Now save the save the file and switch to the browser. And here it compiling, and you can see here the now color in red color. Okay. Now let's see the multiple class binding. Okay. So for that, just go to the app dot component dot ts file, and here let's create a new property let's say multi classes okay and create an array and just pass here the classes name okay this classes name so just write here uh, success and another class official okay I'm just going to use these two classes okay now let's bind this so go to the app.complaint.html file and here just create a new paragraph let's say multiple class binding okay and here let's try uh, class it's equal to and just pass here the value property name which is multi classes so just write here okay and now save the file and let's check it so switch to the browser and here okay some error multi all right note here big black all right the class and class is equal to this all right now save the file and it's compiling and you can see here the text in uh, green color and also underline it means success class and a special class both classes are applied here. All right. Now let's see the conditional applied uh, multiple class binding. For that, just uh, create a new property inside the app dot component dot ts file. And here, just write let's say conditional multi classes. Okay, is equal to create an object. And here. Just write success success when jump uh, when then this dot has error is false okay it's not this dot has error and er error when this dot has error 
is true. Okay. Now let's bind it. So just copy this class uh, property name and go to the app.component.html file and here just create one more paragraph and just write here conditional applied multiple class binding okay now just add the class here in big bracket okay and just write here this property name okay so just copy and paste here all right now save the file and let's check it this time uh, has error value is true okay so you can see here the conditional applied multiple function uh, class binding this text is in red color okay if i change it into false you can see here the color must be in the green color okay you can see here the color in green color okay so in this way you can do class binding in angular 10 so that's all about angular 10 class binding so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching